I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test question from polynomials and inequalities advanced functions grade 12. This particular question is very popular. This year I have seen it being asked in two different schools. So you can have a look. This is the David wants to have an in-ground swimming pool question. Now this is the second test paper where it came this year and we'll discuss this question at length. So the question before us is David wants to have an in-ground swimming pool in his backyard. He has determined that the pool has to be 6 meters greater in length than it is in width and 3 meters less in depth than it is in width. The volume of the swimming pool is 110 meter cube. Determine the dimensions of the swimming pool. So don't forget to define your variables. Let's start with the let statement. So let width be x meters okay since both length and height depth or height is given in terms of width if width is x meters we know length will be equals to x plus 6 right 6 meters greater and depth is going to be 3 meters less than width so x minus 3 volume of the swimming pool is going to be length times width times depth and that is we can multiply all these three right so we can say x times x plus 6 times x minus 3 volume is given to us as 110 meter cube and let's expand this so we have x times x square minus 3x plus 6x minus 18 and we can bring 110 to the right side so we get 0 equals to open this bracket so we get x cube minus combine them so we get plus 3x and then multiply by x we'll get plus 3x square minus 18x and minus 110 now we need to factor this cubic equation so you can try values uh, like 1, 2, right, 5, 10 and see for what you get a 0. So whichever value gives you a 0 then you can further divide get and then you know factorize. So what we notice is that p of 5 is 0 right. So if you substitute 5 here that is 5 cubed plus 3 times 5 square minus 18 times 5 minus 110 right you can use your calculator this is 5 uh, sorry it is 5 cube plus 3 times 5 square minus 18 times 5 minus 110 is equal to 0 so that means x minus 5 is a factor right so one of the factors is x minus 5. To find the other factors, we can do synthetic division, right? So let me do it on the right side. So let's do synthetic division now. So we can say the coefficients for us are uh, 1, 3, minus 18, and 110 minus, minus right so let's write down the coefficients 1 3 minus 18 and minus 110 we need to divide it by 5 since 5 gave us a 0 bring down 1 multiply add them 8 multiply 40 add them so when you add minus to this you get plus 2 and that gives you 3 2 right so 22 and when you multiply 22 by 5 you indeed get 110 and as expected uh, the remainder is 0 for you right so that gives you the quadratic function so the quadratic function which you get here is x square right so we have this factor so we could write the volume as equal to x minus 5 
right? And this factor gives us x squared plus 8x plus 22. Now, let us find the roots for this. If there are other possible solutions, we already have one solution, which is x equals to 5. So if x is equals to 5, the length will be 5 plus 6. Depth is 5 minus 3. Correct. In meters, that is the dimension. But let's see if there is a possibility of other solutions or not. It's kind of important to check that also. Sometimes you can have more than one solution, and that's the reason. So let's check for the other solutions. This quadratic equation, we can have a quadratic formula. Minus 8 plus minus square root of b square minus 4 is e which is 64 minus 4 times a is 1 times 22 divided by 2 times a which is 2 right as you can see here it is minus 8 plus minus within square root we have 64 minus 88 that is a negative quantity right so 64 minus 88 will give us minus 24 right divide by 2 so no real solution correct so that means no real roots therefore only solution you have is real solution I mean to say in the domain is for x equals to 5 do you see that and now we can write down the dimensions or the answer for us so the answer is length will be 5 more than x so we have length of um, I should write 5 plus 6 which is 11 meters we know width equals to 5 meters and depth is 5 minus 3 which is 2 meters right so these are the dimensions let me clearly write the answer here the answer is for us 11 meters by 5 meters by 2 meters right so that is the dimension of the pool for us so that is how you can solve this question I hope that helps thank you